Hey guys! <laughs> huh. We have something very important we want to talk to you about. Something we are very passionate about. So, if there's any video that you don't make it all the way through, let this be the one that you actually finish. Don't miss a second. Please. Not one second. We, if you do not know this already, are self-love soldiers. Like, Amen. Every single day, all day long, we want you to freaking love yourself. You cannot lose a single pound. We'd be okay with that. We just if, want you to be happy with your life, where you are, and what you're doing right now. Amen. Not when you finish this program, not when you cross that finish line, not when you reach the size of pant, and not when you see that stupid number on the scale. Every single minute of every single day, loving your damn self because Seriously. that's what you deserve. You deserve happiness. Why would you not want that for yourself? We love our children. We love our families. And we always always want them to be happy, right? Like we don't like it when they're upset. We don't like it when they are in a bad mood. So why would you want that for yourself? Why would you not want to make yourself happy? And we're here to help you explain how it makes a difference and what you can do to get there. Our number, number one, one every single day is personal, personal development. development. Like you have to do it. It's it's not non negotiable. <laughs> we didn't even <laughs> practice that. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to the show. Oh, anyways, you can't skip it. Like, if you do, you'll you're not, see it. Yes, you're not going to change your life. It'll take two days. I'm telling you right now. So, personal development, basically, reading today doesn't change your life today. It changes your life tomorrow. So, when you skip a day, you can tell in a couple days. Because you got negative Nancy. Right right, there. right here on your shoulder. But, if you fight her off, Every single day with some self love, you won't have to worry about what she's talking about. You're gonna feel like a bad ass. And I love it. <laughs> every single day, which brings you to our first book that we, you have to read, your very first one that you have to read. It's a must. It's called You, you Are, Are a Badass, badass. by Ugh. Jen Sincero. So good. It's yellow. It literally will mm -hmm. change your life. And if you think it won't, read it and come back and tell me how it didn't but change for your real. life. But something we must say before we get to into naming titles for okay. you <sighs> excuses we just have to hit them head on because oh, no. so many people say oh, I, I can't do to. personal development because I don't like to read and I don't have time <laughs> well join the club get over it friend we don't have time either <laughs> not one bit I don't love to read anymore I used to when I you know didn't have children in a house and grown-ups adult things to do so that brings us to our next point. You have multiple ways to get in personal development. Deidre, we'll read a book. Like, cool. I sit down with my book and a highlighter because I'm that person. I'm a checklist kind of person. Highlighting it allows it to soak in more. Like, I can see it. I can read it. I can feel it. But Kyra, on the other hand, she, she can't. Nope. Audiobook all day long is my jam. I listen to it when I get ready in the morning. I listen to it on the way to work. Listen to it on the way home from work. Audiobook all day long because that's when I I am like a music person. I feel things. I can hear things and it sticks in. That is what's huge for me. But what's even better? They have things like podcasts, YouTube, radio yes. specifically just for self love. And we're not talking about the Bible. The Bible is amazing. We recommend it to every single one of you. Please, read but all day. if you're reading the Bible, you have to read Post on top Bible. of that, like more. God can only do so much for you in your life. He needs you to step up and take reins and control and do the rest. So it's basically like he's giving you the clay. Are you just going to keep your clay and see how colorful it is? Or are you going to build something out of it? If you want that, you have to put an extra effort. He only gives you so much. It's your job to take what he has given you and make something out of your life. I love that. So here's your choice. You can either self-love or you cannot. You'll have two things, success and failure. Amen. What do you want? If you want success, you're going to have to put the time in for self-love. And that means personal development, hands down. Every day. Your life will change. You will be more positive which makes you a happier person, which makes your family happier, which makes your life happier. Why would you not want that? Amen. So choose. Do you want to read a book or do you want to listen to audio? 
If you want to do audio, like she said, there's podcasts. Audible is a great app for books. YouTube is amazing. If you like books, awesome. Hit up Amazon like nobody's business. They're literally dirt cheap. You get them in two days. And if you have a Kindle, it's instantly downloaded right then and there. Amen. And you get Kindle cheaper. Like if you put it on your Kindle, you get it cheaper. And the library rents books every single day. It's a weird thing to think of a library card. But, I mean, like... It works. It works. And that saves you money. Like, there are ways. So... No excuses. Excuse excuse number two is that you're just not open to it. Like, you're just saying, oh, that's woohoo and that won't help me. Well, I mean, it kind of is woohoo, but... And you're right. It won't help you when you don't do it. If you don't open your heart and your mind to it, Sorry. You're just going to be sitting at square one again. But why not try? Why not give it a chance? Why not read one book and see what it does for you? Right. I just think of like, why would you not want to see if you get happier? It's not like reading it's going to make you mad. Reading it's not going to make your life worse. The most thing that's going to happen, you're going to be happier. So why would you not want to try it? Amen. Seriously. So we want to give you some of our favorites. Just because... Who knows what, what the heck? Yeah, what it even is. is? Our favorite, of course, very. You first. are a badass. You are a badass, hands down. And I think for I sure. can go ahead and say our second favorite is Big Magic. Oh yeah, for sure. It's by Elizabeth Love Gilbert. Love it, and it's good, and it's not. Those are those are both great starters because they're not too faith based. Yes, they are, but they aren't like a vomit faith in your yes. face, which makes our third one though. Yes, our third favorite book is Chase, Chase the, the Lion. Lion. Ugh. Even God saying it right gives me goosebumps. But for real, it's, it's amazing. Like, these are not just... Okay, I'm going to call out Dave Ramsey podcast real quick. Yes. Dave Ramsey podcast is basically people calling in, telling how awesome they have feel, they felt because this, this, and this happened. They paid off all their debt, and now they're happily ever after. That's not personal development. Listening to somebody's story is not personal development. No. These are taking tidbits of story and relating it back to your life. How you feel in these moments, what you can do to avoid these things, what you can do to go better from them, how yes. you are going to feel once you have done them. It just fills your cup and so it's like, much. <laughs> I can relate to that. I know how that feels. I want to feel that way when I'm done. I want to be that person. So then you listen to the next story. Then you listen to the next story. And before you know it, your book's over and you're like, well, no. What am I going to read now? <laughs> Every time I finish a book, I'm like, I'm not done with you. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. And guess what? It's okay to read a personal development Absolutely. more it than once. Absolutely. speak to you different ways every single time because what you're, you're always, in your life. Yes, you're always at a different point in your life. Your eyes are really green right now. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> so, more recommendations. Um, I love the book Relentless. It's more of like, that it's more very, very hands-on one. Like, it tells you, okay, just do it. Or, um, another one was the compound effect. If you're a lister, if you like knowing why and how things get done, compound effect is a go-to. It just literally says, do this because this. Do this because this. And it's not too, like, checklisty, but it, like, breaks it down and makes you, like, understand how and what things do to work. I get it now, exactly. One of my favorites is The Five Second Rule by Mel Robbins. It is one that it sounds just like a talk show. So for me, I did like it. I love it. But she definitely put in perspective. I don't hit snooze. Like, because if I do, she explains sleep cycles. And it's like, why would I want to listen to sleep cycles? Because it makes your butt realize how much you procrastinate about things. If you count down and just doing it five, four, three, two, one doesn't make you get up and do something. You have to understand the science behind it. And the best part is she explains it. So many times we're afraid of doing something. It takes five seconds for you to decide to do something or to talk yourself out of it. If you count down five, four, three, two, one, you can't talk yourself out of it. Amen. Do the scary stuff. Do you ever have it where you say something and it's like, speak it to myself? Oh, well then. <laughs> <laughs> Another one of my favorites is podcast Shalene Johnson. For sh- not her new stuff. I was like, ah. Not her like nutrition stuff. That sucks. Sorry, Shalene, if you're watching this. <laughs> but I love her old, like, speak to speak me stuff. Speak to me. The oh, inspirational kind. so kind. good. Yes. Not the informative kind. No, it was definitely, like, before 2017. Yes, um, for sure. Also, Sean T. has an awesome podcast. 
if you like very in your face, um, Gary, Gary Van, Van, yeah, Gary V. Gary V is what it's I call It's like him. The, the Gary V experience, I think is what it's called. AKA not available for children because. No, lots of cuss words. Lots of cuss words, <laughs> but man, does he speak to you. Oh yeah, he would tell you, get your butt moving. And then there's one more that has become my, one of my newer favorites. And it is for anybody who has self-doubt, who talks to their self negatively. <clears throat> Who does not feel confident in their own skin? It is called Mastering Your Mean Girl. <sighs> Girlfriend. She knows what's up. She knows how to relate to you. And I'm telling you right now, if you ever have any self-confidence issues, listen to this book. Or read it. I forget that people don't listen to it. But if you listen to it, she's British, so it's even better. Oh, that does sound fun. I loved it when I first started. I was like, well, this is going to be a fun book. And then I was done in three days. So I was like, well, that was real that fun. That was fun. Now it's over. So what about YouTube? Any YouTubes? Well, you can watch You Are a Badass for free on YouTube. Yep. Same with uh, Chase the Lion is on there. Oh, heck yeah. Brennan Bruchard. That's who I was going to say. Oh, he's That's so what amazing. That's right now. Yes, he's awesome. Girl. If you don't know who he is, log off here right now. Get on Type YouTube. it in the top. We're there on YouTube. Oh, um, welcome to YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> but type in Brendan Bruchard. He is amazing. We oh got gosh, the honor yes. of seeing him live in, at Summit. Life changer. Literally, Seriously. I had seven pages of notes. In for like a 30, 45 you minute. Go back and read I know because I want to see like what stood out to me the most. Everything and anything he says. One of my favorite books from his is called High Performance Habits. Is that yeah, right? Yeah, it's brand new. Mm-hmm. Yep. High Performance Habits. I'm like, I've only got like four hours left already. <laughs> and I just started it two days ago. I love that. It was just so, it's so good. I can't put it down. So that's a list. That's a big list that you have a lot to pick from. And the best part about it, if you do Audible and or Amazon, you type in any of those suggestions, guess and what? And it'll bring up tons Give, more. It, like, this person bought this because of this. Mm-hmm. So, And I think there's there's two more that we really want to, I want to plug before we get off here. Okay. Because we're hot mess moms. Let's be real. Oh, and gosh, I know what they are. we get so caught up in all of this. Being perfect. Mm-hmm. We, we have to please everybody. We have to do everything for everybody. But guess and what? And we got to come last, remember? Make sure Every you day. come last. Every day. So, so, you need to check out Grace Not Perfection and, and Present Over Present Perfect. Present Over Perfect. Oh, that one was so good. I it's, listened to that all the way through. You'd be so proud of me. I am I very proud listen. of you. She's not a listener. And I was like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. She's not a listener. No, but does not listen to Audible books. She just, it's not how she's wired. Same with me. I have books. Out the wazoo upstairs, I have not finished one personal development physical book because I just can't focus. Gotta be in church. Church is my jam. So, hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully you have some ideas. What we want you to do is report to us, literally. Message us. Let us know what personal development book you're, or audio, you're going to be committing to. We want to know. We We want to help change your life. We want to keep you on track. We want to hold you accountable change your freaking life. So until next time. Bye.